Gap here from the UK Business Circle again. Just doing a short snappy video about some of the things that really, really annoy me about people and social media. I've got Laura with me this morning who's going to be asking me a few questions. Good morning all. There she is, there she is. <laughs> so Gav, tell everyone what is the thing that annoys you so much about people when they post on social media. One of the things that really bug me is people join loads of groups, whether it's Facebook or go onto Twitter, LinkedIn, wherever it is, and they put a post about buy from me or my product or a service that they do. They don't ever introduce themselves. They don't sort of say, hi, my name's so-and-so and I run this business. It's great to connect with you guys um, and, and tell us a little bit about what they do. They just go straight in with buy from me. Now, that really bugs me because in real life that wouldn't happen. If you go to a networking event, you go to that event and you introduce yourself to people, you ask them about their business, you have a chat about something, um, you start to find out more about what both of you do and how you can help each other, and that's how relationships are built. Um, but in social media, people think it's okay to go in groups and just say, this is what I'm gonna do. Or they bulk upload everything, so they don't care about anybody in the group, the members, or what their thoughts are. And they've got no intention of going back again unless somebody is gonna go onto their post and respond and they think, ah, oh, I can get something out of this. It's all wrong, it really annoys me. And I think that these people should act the same way online and in social media groups as what they do as if they're in a room with somebody face to face so yeah it really bugs me and what is the benefit to someone of understanding that online networking is the same as face-to-face -face networking the benefit of I think online you can there's a lot you've got a lot wider audience than what you have so if you're at a networking event or something like that You've got the, the people in the room and they, they can see you and you can build a relationship with those where I think it's even more important online because the audience is absolutely massive. Um, so you can get loads more exposure but again I think that's where it's even more important to make sure that people can see what you do with a nice introduction so that people are going to want to ask you questions or connect with you. And if you do it and build up a really, really good um, rapport or, or collaboration with somebody, they're then going to recommend you on to other people. So I think that online is even more important. Brilliant. Thanks, Gav. And so if anyone tries to post in the UK <coughs> Business Circle, whether it's the website or whether it's in the Facebook group or Twitter, what is the key thing they need to do? The key thing you need to do is if you're joining the UK Business Circle is be somebody behind your account. It's not all about me, me, me and you, you, you. It's about other people. You need to go into the group and say who you are, a little bit about your business and, and show an interest in others and take part because there's hundreds of other Facebook groups out there and, and you know social media that are quite happy for you just to go along add a post and not care about anyone else. If you want to do that, you know, go to those groups, but don't come to the business circle because it won't even get past admin. And, you know, the members that we've got are all real, genuine UK businesses that want to connect, collaborate and support each other. So don't even waste your time, go and spam someone else's group. Brilliant. Thanks, Gav. Bye everyone. Hope this video helped. See you in the next video. Bye.